Lord Jesus Christ, man. Come on. <laughs> I really love him, man. I really do. Welcome, everyone. You're listening to the Life Given Podcast with me, O'Shane Harris. A podcast that's dedicated to encourage Christians in their daily walk with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. third episode of the final part of our three-part series on God's love. This episode is entitled, Given God's Love. What does it mean to give God's love? Well, stay tuned and see what this episode has to offer. So we have received, we have remained, Now what? What do I mean? Well, we've received God's love. We've remained in God's love. Now what do we do? Well, we give God's love. There's always an outflow going on here. Once we receive, once we remain, we ought to give. I really believe God wants us to give his love away. To others who haven't experienced it as yet. The giving is so important Because that's how God will add to his kingdom. When we give his love away that we've experienced, people get to experience that too. They get to experience the Father and they want to get into the kingdom of God. Remember, God is motivated by love and so should we. When we lavish the love we receive from God and others, we really are becoming like his son, Jesus Christ. Now, if we look at Jesus' life, we see that his life was marked by his constant giving. Man, he gave a lot. He gave kindness away, humility away, compassion, healing, miracles, his time, his energy, his work. He kept on giving. Just look through the Gospels and you'll see how much Jesus truly gave. I think he was definitely remaining in his father to have given like he did. Man, he even gave his life away. Think about that for a second. He gave so much away that he even gave his life away for us. It was not enough for the Son of Man to receive and remain. So it's not enough for us. To receive and remain. The next important part, or should I say the next important step, is now to give. And now remember, we can't give what we don't have. It's impossible. If someone asks you for a box of chocolate and you don't have it, you can't give them a box of chocolate. It's that simple. So, In order for us to give God's love away, we have to learn and know that we need to remain in Him. And surely He will remain in us as He promised. Now we will be equipped to give away something that we have. To conclude our three-part series on receiving, remaining, and giving God's love, I want you guys to ask yourself this question. What have I received from God and remained in that I can now give away? 